How's it going, guys? Uh, happy uh, some day that ends with a Y. I think it's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. In this video, I want to talk about the fourth valve of a euphonium. In case some of you are curious, I'm a beginner when it comes to the euphonium. I used to play trumpet. I still do, but now I'm transitioning into playing the euphonium. It's been a couple months and I'm just discovering things as I go. So, how does a trumpet or any other kind of three-valved instrument function? It's essentially a bugle. So you can play harmonic series like this. You can play these notes, but then you can change the length of the overall tubing by adding these little pieces by pressing these valves. So, and uh, if you look closely, when I press down this second valve, I'm adding this little piece of tubing. When I'm pressing the first valve, I'm adding a piece that is twice as long as this. And if I press the third one, this long slide, see? It's three times as long as this middle second valve. So between these three valves, you can cover um, the entire chromatic scale. Now on the trumpet, I have a trumpet right here. You have your third valve you put your middle finger here so you can slide slide this out as you're playing to fine tune that intonation on the whenever you're pressing down the third valve because one and three combinations are always slightly sharp on a four valve instrument like this this four fourth valve replaces one and three so this is a four valve euphonium. Sometimes euphoniums have this thing moved here so you can operate it with your index finger like this. But here they're all in line. On this particular instrument, and um, don't mind this electrical tape, I just uh, tuned it and I, it's keeping it in place. I can easily remove it. This is just for me because, um, but anyway, when, when I'm sitting down, like I don't wanna press it in. This is a tuning slide for the fourth valve. And if it's pushed in all the way, the note is too sharp. So basically, by pressing the fourth valve, the note, this note, is more in tune. This is a D. The same thing works for C sharp. This C sharp, one, two, and three, is also kind of too sharp, so you can replace it with two and four. But another cool thing is you can uh, treat the fourth valve as a transposing kind of trigger. Let me explain. It's it transposes your horn down a fourth. So you can do your polka things like this, for example. See? Or you can just transpose the entire passage down a fourth. It's not exactly in tune, but you get the point. It transposes your instrument into a different key effectively. Also, you can use the fourth valve to extend down into the pedal tone register. Most most trumpet players I know can can play something like a pedal tone F 
it's not exactly musical sounding, but somebody like Wynton Marsalis can play a pedal tone C, no problem. Here, with these uh, extra, with the extra fourth valve, I can go down into the pedal tone register. Let me show you. So this is. This is a G below the staff. So now I can press down this G and continue down with these valves. This is a C sharp. <laughs> See, kind of cool, right? <laughs> so there you go. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.